Okay, welcome back everyone. I haven't made a video in a while and something I wanted to do is do a few videos on SQLite. In today's video, we're going to look at what is the easiest way, in my opinion, to create a SQLite database and get started with using SQLite. So if you like this kind of content, before we get into it, uh, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos I make in the future that you might find interesting or useful or maybe at least entertaining. Really, this channel is just me, what I learn either at work or on my own and trying to regurgitate that and hopefully help you out at the same time. But to be honest, I haven't used SQLite in a while and I don't know why, but I thought this would be a fun couple or many videos to make for you guys. If you don't know what SQLite is, it's free for anyone to use. And it's really just a database that lives in a file. They say SQLite reads and writes directly to ordinary disk files. And pretty soon we're going to go ahead and create our own disk file. So basically the entire database, and they say that right here, uh, a complete SQL database with multiple tables, indices, triggers, and views is contained in a single disk file, which is very impressive. And if you want to learn more about this, I'll have SQLite's website linked down below. And I'll also have linked down below the tool we're going to use, which is the database browser for SQLite. If you Google SQLite, I think this is the third link that actually comes up. I already have this downloaded and installed, but you'll just go to the download button and install it by clicking this downloads button and it'll take you to their GitHub. So once you have that downloaded and installed, if you're curious what version I have, because I actually don't know, I have 3.11.2. So I'm a little bit behind what's currently out there, but I, it's all probably going to be the same. And what's really nice about this tool is not only can you easily create a new database, but you can actually look at all of the data through this GUI very easily. So when we want to go ahead and create a new database, you can see there's a button here in the top left that says new database. It's a little small maybe for you guys, but if you click that, we can then pick where we want our database file to go. So for me, I'm going to create a new directory in our documents folder called SQLite. And let's just call this test and I'll hit save and that will create our SQLite database. If I go ahead and look at that directory, here is what the database file looks like. It's test.db. And right after creating this, it prompts us to go ahead and create our first table. I'm going to exit out of this. And really, we could use the GUI, and we'll do that in a future video, but I'm going to very easily just use SQL to go ahead and create our table. So create table. We'll give it some kind of name. Let's also name it test. And here we can have a column name, which is going to be a varchar of maybe 100, and maybe an ID. Um, that's an int. Okay, and if we execute this, we can see the result. Query executed successfully, took one millisecond. We look at our database structure tab now. Under tables, we now have a one, meaning we have a table inside of our new database. And here it is, test. If we go ahead and click on it and browse the data, we now see those two columns that we described. We have name and ID. And if we go back to our database structure and we expand our test table that we created, we can see our two columns. So we have name and ID and the two data types. All right, so that's it for this video. We went ahead and we created our first, or maybe your first SQLite database very easily in my opinion. Uh, there's another method to do it. That's via the command line. And I'm actually gonna show that method in the next video if you're interested. So thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in a future video and take care.